Hi, welcome to our Christmas story time. We're going to start off with our hello song. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Good job. Next, we're going to do the itsy bitsy spider. Are you ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Our first book today is called The Wheels on the Bus at Christmas. Let me see if I can remember the tune. It was written by Sarah Keeley and read with the permission of Double Day Books for Young Readers. Let's ride the bus on Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve. Let's ride the bus on Christmas Eve. Who will we find inside? The elves on the bus go, let's make toys, let's make toys, let's make toys. The elves on the bus go, let's make toys on a snowy Christmas Eve. The reindeer on the bus go jingle, 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 jingle. The reindeer on the bus go jingle, jingle, jingle on a snowy Christmas Eve. The snowman on the bus go burr, 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 burr. The snowman on the bus go burr, burr, burr on a snowy Christmas Eve. The bells on the bus go ding dong ding, ding dong ding, ding dong ding. The bells on the bus go ding dong ding on a snowy Christmas Eve. The cookies on the bus go crunch, 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 crunch. The cookies on the bus go crunch, crunch, crunch on a snowy Christmas Eve. The lights on the bus go twinkle, twinkle, blink. Twinkle, twinkle, blink. Twinkle, twinkle, blink. The lights on the bus go twinkle, twinkle, blink on a snowy Christmas Eve. Santa on the bus goes ho, 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 ho. Santa on the bus goes ho, ho, ho on a snowy Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. Next stop, your house. The end. Okay, next we have a flannel board and it's called Rudolph Rudolph. Here's Rudolph. And what's he missing? He's missing his red nose. Rudolph Rudolph, what will you do? You can't guide Santa's sleigh if your nose is blue. Rudolph Rudolph, you're such a silly fellow. Who will know it's you if your nose is yellow? Rudolph, Rudolph, you cannot be seen through the wintry weather if your nose is green. Rudolph, Rudolph, Santa gave a wink, but what would he say if your nose was pink? Rudolph, Rudolph, it's time to fly at night, but you can't get through wintry weather if your nose is white. Rudolph, Rudolph, it's time to go to town, but you can't help Santa if your nose is brown. Rudolph, Rudolph, what a groovy glow. It looks a little, your nose looks a little like a rainbow. Rudolph, Rudolph, the children are in bed. Now we can get on our way because your nose is red. Okay, our next story is Snowmen at Christmas. And it was written by Carolyn Buner and pictures are by Mark Buner and it is read with the permission of Dial Books for Young Readers. On Christmas Eve, I made a snowman very fat and jolly. I dressed him up in red and green and trimmed his hat with holly. I saw his arms were trembling as if he couldn't wait. 
It made me start to wonder, how do snowmen celebrate? I think that while I'm snug in bed dreaming of Christmas treats, the merry snowmen slip away and hurry through the streets. They glide down snowy avenues with lamp lights all aglow, the sleeping city blanketed in freshly fallen snow. They pass a toy shop windows framed with twinkling lights, pausing for a peek or two at holiday delights. The jolly snowmen gather from everywhere around for a Christmas party in the center of the town. Waving to each other, they call out cheery greetings, all their friends and family so happy to be meeting. A few snowmen, a few merry snowmen start trimming the square. Soon holly and icicles are hung everywhere and then reaching high for everyone to see, they hang balls of snow on the big Christmas tree. The snow children play freeze tag or red rover or climb in a stack till they wobble right over. The mothers lay out all kinds of cold treats ice cream and snow cones and dainty iced sweets. Then the dancing begins to the tune of a fiddle. All the snowmen line up and sashay down the middle. Someone says, hush, could that be a jingle? Then over the hill glides the snowman, Kris Kringle. He opens his sack with a jolly ho-ho and pulls out their presents each made out of snow. Santa sips his cocoa, the reindeer romp and play, and then with a whistle, they're off on their way. Such fun snowmen have, but there's still one more thing. With hearts full of joy, they hold hands and they sing. While the fiddler plays, the sweet si and sweet silver bells ring, they sing songs about snow and the birth of a king. The children are sleepy, the grown-ups are yawning, the snowmen go home just as Christmas is dawning. They're all back in their places when Christmas day starts, but these folks made of snow have a glow in their heart. Their smiles are more tender, their eyes softly shine as the snowmen dreams, dream dreams of their Christmas time. Merry Christmas. Okay, next we have our literacy tip. And this week's tip is to create a story area in your home. And you can use Christmas lights and cozy blankets to construct a special space um, where you and your child can escape into the world of books. Our next activity is another flannel board, and it's called Five Candy Canes Hanging on a Tree. So let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five candy canes. Five little candy canes hanging on a tree. Mmm, they're so yummy. I hope there's one for me. Along came my brother and snatched one off the tree. I guess that candy cane was not the one for me. Four little candy canes hanging on a tree. Mmm, they're so yummy. I hope there's one for me. Along came my brother and snatched one off the tree. I guess that candy cane was not the one for me. Three little candy canes hanging on a tree. Mmm, they're so yummy. I hope there's one for me. Along came my brother and snatched one off the tree. Mm -hmm. I guess that candy cane was not the one for me. Two little candy canes hanging on the tree. Mm, they're so yummy. I hope there's one for me. Along came my brother and snatched one off the tree. I guess that candy cane was not the one for me. There's one little candy cane hanging on the tree. Mmm, it's so yummy. I hope that one's for me. I ran and I took the last one off the Christmas tree. Hooray! The last candy cane was just the one for me. 
Okay. Our next book is The Night Before Christmas. And it um, was, the poem was by Clement Moore. Um, and the illustrations are by Jan Brett. And it is read with the permission of G. Putnam's Sons. was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads and Mama and her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter I sprung from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, their coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Prancer, now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of the pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. The end. The next thing that we have is our craft, and it's a Christmas tree ornament for your Christmas tree. <laughs> and in the kit, you'll get the craft, well, you'll get everything that you need to make it. All you need to supply yourself is glue to glue the craft sticks together and the little hanger. Um, and you can pick that up either in the atrium or at the drive through window. And our last thing to do, oh, don't forget on the back to write your name and the date so that you remember when you made this ornament. And the last thing that we have to do is our goodbye song. And it goes like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Don't forget to join Miss Haley for our bilingual story time on December 29th, next Tuesday.